largest distributor of uh, milk products, dairy products. Combination of two large entities. It was Suiza Food out of the south and, and the original Dean Foods, which is where I came from, out of the north. And basically, they put together both companies and now we're based out of Dallas, Texas. Um, that being said, it's wonderful synergies as far as transportation and production, all those other good things. But when you become a company that big in an industry, you become a large target for being audited, for uh, being, being looked at at a higher standard, even from the publicly traded level. My most recent role is uh, Senior Manager of IT Risk Security and Compliance. So I actually have both, both hats. Um, I deal with compliance and security. And as your friends at Target and other places will tell you, um, even though they, they cooperate with each other, um, compliance isn't security and security isn't compliance. Operational risk in the past, if you look at it, uh, we, there was this wonderful software system out there. People like to use it as a software system, which would either be Excel or Access. And I have seen more presentations or more aha moments that were actually somebody flipping a pivot table the wrong direction or, or not lining up columns when they were sorting things or not realizing they had hidden columns and moving things around. To be able to get that trust level that what you're doing is gonna be consistently monitored. What somebody was doing yesterday when they leave, somebody tomorrow can do that same analytic and you know it was run the same way and you're getting the same results. So it starts with uh, privileged activity. So you have a, a server, let's say an iSeries server, um, and there is a user with elevated authority and they issue a command that's considered potentially unauthorized. That command is, then, is run through AX Core, um, which then spits an exception over to the results manager. Uh, once that exception is hit in the exceptions manager, we have a trigger or we have a notification set up so that the manager is notified, hey, you have a user who has potentially done an unauthorized command. We can then even follow up with a questionnaire asking, you know, do you think that this command is a part of their daily job responsibility? If so, then we can change our analytic. So from an audit perspective, it's definitely had a great return on investment. Um, in the past, audit has used the tool to uh, conduct fraud analysis, um, identifying one to two million dollars in waste and procurement. Um, and these are just ad hoc projects. So when you think about the return on investment from a com uh, continuous monitoring perspective, having the ability to look at our unauthorized activity on a more automated approach, we're saving eight to 10 hours a week, every two weeks, and a manager's time going through logs of data that's full of white noise. And if you can just imagine the amount of money that we're saving and, and not allow having that, that level of employees spend that type of time looking for unauthorized activity. So the return on investment is just, it's unlimited.